exhaust is all done. Just need to do the wastegate and then we do the intake. And that's pretty much it. Where are you, wastegate? Okay, here you are. Pretty big. And the crypts in the house. Drop it like it's hot. Uh, drop it like it's hot. Uh, drop it like it's hot. Basically, if this hit 20 uh, PSI, it's gonna go to the second turbo. If this one hit 20 PSI, this one is probably gonna hit like 17 or 15. I don't know how it works, but that means that the wastegate needs to be here and go to this thing to get the maximal boost. Or it could go straight up to the uh, the exhaust that go behind, but it's gonna have less boost on the, the second turbo so if I'm not mistaken again because I don't really know shit about turbos my car is not even turbo so. <laughs> That's good. Just I wanted to face that way. And let's do a little tubing. Okay, let me just save that real quick. So right now it looks really good. So the second wastegate, gladly I don't have to do the tubing for it, so that's really nice. And um, so we still have to finish this tubing here, and after that, we're pretty much done. The only thing that it that is going to be left to do is. Um, Oh, why did I put it with a radiator? That's weird. Why have I done that? Hmm. Anyway, I'm still don't gonna continue with it. Um, everything that's gonna left, it's not like motor-wise. It's just gonna be like um, fuel, uh, fuel, uh, fuel fluid breakfast. <laughs> for the radiator, um, the battery, and you know, stuff like that.
Okay, guys. I think uh, I think everything's good. We have the headers here. It goes to the first turbo. We have the wastegate that continues to here. Then it goes to the second turbo, which have a wastegate here. It goes straight out to the exhaust. And then we have the intake piping that goes here. Goes in the intercooler then goes to the motor yeah I think we're pretty much done for the turbo parts oh my god that looks gorgeous so that's pretty much it guys <coughs> see you later bye